Religion. So what will decrease? Religion. Religious. People will become more and more non-believers. Religions will go extinct. Okay. This will you will see. People will stop will stop going to temples and they'll lock it up and become a museum. And you'll you one probably later on in this life you're going to see your gods who we worship now will be sitting in the museums because religions will fade. People won't be interested in religion. Okay. Yeah. Because they were all back then in Satya Yuga, according to what I understand. I haven't lived, I don't know. Right. That's when that's why God comes down four times in Satya Yuga compared to only once in Kali Yuga. God comes down and teaches the uh, universal dharma, which we will get into. And then the society will. We're going to start giving food now. Okay. So in that's why God comes down, guys. Religions will pay in Kali Yuga, and then God comes down again to reestablish everything. The, the, it's not actually a religion he's establishing. The Dharma, the universal Dharma, will be reestablished again. Yes. So like not in every Yuga. Every yuga you see it's decreasing little by little, right? First yuga was 100%, second yuga was 75%. That, 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 that percentage there for each yuga, you can apply to anything. So it's slowly going down? Slowly going down, but in Kali Yuga it will fade to, to a point that people won't, will stop believing. Okay, yes? This oven is almost done, yes. Satya Yuga comes four times. Duration, the, the whole thing. Because people live for 100,000 years, yeah, it's going to come in intervals. Okay? We don't know the exact timing, but it will come in intervals. Yes? So after the Yeah, we'll start increasing. That's why these. Okay, guys, the purpose of giving names for these uh, years or these Yugas is because. The qualities of the people change, gods change, everything changes, the society itself changes. That's why we give classification. But the, nobody can say, okay, from tomorrow it's going to be Satya Yuga. You know what I mean? For the, from the day after it's going to be Triya Yuga. No, 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 we can't say that. But because the society is a change and individually we change, according to these Yugas, the characteristic change, we have defined it. Okay? So gods, like the avatar comes so many different times in different Yugas, the Dharma will be reestablished. Because Kali Yuga is so bad, there's no point for God to come in the beginning or in the middle. He just comes at the end, destroys all evil, and re-establishes uh, order and orderliness in the society, and that becomes Satya Yuga. Okay? Alright, so what's going to go down? Since while you're eating, I'm going to explain, okay? Religion will go down, okay? Truthfulness will go down, okay? People are going to be less and less honest, okay? So... Further down, even now we can't expect any honesty in any relationship. We hear about all these stories. Further down, it's just going to get bad, bad, bad to the point of there's, there's no honesty. Yes? Okay, so she's asking, wouldn't it be better if God comes down in the beginning and you know, teaches everything? Unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. However, Sometimes, like you know, like people living the higher planetary systems do come down. Like the demigods will come down, or the higher souls, the souls that reach higher potentials, they will come down. That's why you see like all these uh, uh, sages coming down, or swamis and sannyasis coming down. Some of them they come purely like you know for for the purpose of spreading God's word and uh, encouraging people to practice bhakti, okay, or practice devotion. You see that too. This is very intricate, I mean, it's very complicated. We'll learn all by all, okay? I can't give you all of it on the same day and expect everybody to understand. Okay, so I have to explain stuff, so everybody is kind of engaged, okay? All right. All right, cleanliness will go down, guys. How many of you take bath every day? Okay, I know all you guys want to put your hands up. Okay. How many times are you 
Did your grandparents take baths? Oh, you never asked. You don't know the lifestyle. Every other, no, 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 I'm telling you the cleanliness will go down. Maybe because of the society they were living in, they were sweating. Uh, ideally, like, you, sh you should be pra uh, spraying three times a day. And then before you do the, you, before you do the pra uh, prayer, you're supposed to do the sauna, sa sa right? You're supposed to clean, clean yourself so that you can do the prayer, okay? But generally, if you see in the society, not in Canada, I mean, I hope it doesn't get to that stage. But if you go to other countries and you see, cleanliness is bad. How many of you have been to India? How, how many of you have been, have been to Sri Lanka? How will, is it clean? Okay. That's what I mean, the point made. I made the point, maybe in a bad way, but the way I, I wanted to make a point is that cleanliness will generally go down. Not only physical cleanliness, okay? Not only physical, the, the taking a bath itself doesn't mean anything. Is your mind clean? Are you pure-hearted? That's what we're talking about here. And that will go down, okay? All the, all the devils, all the demons, all the evil is within us, so the cleanliness inside has gone down. That's why, even when we do meditation, when we do, thank you, when we, when we do the yagas, when we do the prayers, nothing works. Nothing works, guys, because inside, it's, it's, it's a disaster inside. Let's not, not even talk about being not clean. It's a disaster inside. So, one way to cleanse ourselves is to do spiritual practice. That's why we encourage, encourage, encourage all the time. Do spiritual practice. Do spiritual practice. That's the only way you can cleanse yourself. Okay? As we said, duration of life will go down. Physical strength. Physical strength is going to go down. Back in the days, nobody had gym. Did you know that? Yeah. Why? Why didn't they have gyms? Why? They were doing physical work. They were like lifting heavy stuff and they were, you know, working with heavy equipment and whatnot. They're all physically strong and whatnot. This day, this day, we have to have gyms so that you can go and lift weights. As you can see, I don't lift weights. <laughs> okay? I don't believe in anything else other than God. So I'm your perfect examples of 100% faith. Okay, I'm lying. <laughs> Alright, so therefore, physical strength, as you guys know, because back in the days, they worked in farms, they did like uh, a lot of physical work. They didn't need, uh, they had a lot of physical strength. But in Thailand, you become lazy. We have, what is it, what is it called? Uh, what do you call Washing machine. We have washing machine, guys. We can't, we, we are so lazy, we can't even wash our clothes. Can you believe it? When your parents were growing up, in your age, they were washing their own clothes. Can you imagine doing that now? Can I be like, turn off the washing machine from your house for one week? All of you wash your own clothes. <laughs> That's what I mean. That's what I mean. Even for a challenge, we won't do it because it's we are becoming lazy and we are not uh, inclined to do that anymore. Yes. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh yeah, lies. Okay. okay. Wait, wait. It's kind of good. Okay. So yeah, we have washing machines. We have. You know, back in the days, your parents used to burn their own. A fire before they started cooking. Did you know that? Yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, do they do that? Yeah. The work has become so easy. You don't even have to lift your finger. You just press the buttons and whatnot. Everything's there. You don't even have to cook. You can order outside or you can get a packaged meal inside your fridge and put it in the microwave when you need it. That's how lazy we became. Okay? We had cleanliness in everything before, guys, because we offered the food to God before we ate it before. We cooked it. We cooked it in a cleanly manner. We cooked it with pure heart. We cooked it for the pure, pureness of just offering to God. Look, right now, we don't even offer it. God is God sitting there. Nobody's taking care. But we are feeding our uh, stomachs. We are all healthy and, you know, we look, uh, you know, whatever. We are building our bodies. But they don't do that anymore. So that's the ages. You see the difference. Okay? All right. And, okay, let's talk about the second one and I'll finish it off, okay? In Kali Yuga, listen carefully, wealth alone will be considered the sign of a man's good birth, proper behavior and fine qualities, okay? And law and justice will be applied only on the basis of one's power. 
So if you have money, that's it. In this society, you are everything. Okay? If you become a millionaire, nobody will even talk about any bad qualities or anything bad you do. That just having money itself is considered the best of the best. And this is said when in Bahad Srinath uh, Bhagavadam, okay? And this is said before even Kali Yuga started or in the in beginning of Kali Yuga, okay? So as you can see, this is true in our society today. Anybody wants to refute? No, I'm pretty sure you all agree, okay? So how can we use this to our, our advantage? Make sure. Come on, one week. How am I supposed to how am I supposed to expect you know something I taught you when I first started teaching about Peter? Anyone remember what chapter we're doing or what we what what, what topic we're learning as praise of the God. Praise of the God? Uh, Traits of the God? The royal road. Oh, yeah. Exactly, yeah. the royal road to hell. How to you know make sure that you all get to hell and live a really miserable, nasty life. So how what just a recap on last week. We talked about pride, arrogance, conceit, anger, harshness, and ignorance. Any of these words sound familiar? All right. What's uh, pride? What's pride, arrogance, and conceit? Who wants to take that up and tell me? See, three people smiling and everyone else just staring at me like, I don't want to go to hell. Stop! Don't teach me this. No one knows what pride is. I'm arrogant. Yes. So when you're very, very exactly when you're not just happy, but you're. You're full of yourself. You're, you're, you believe you're better than everybody else. Yes. Yes, when you're a big show off. Or anger. Anger, anger. We all know what anger is. Harshness. What's ignorance? What type of ignorance are we talking about here? Pardon? Unrain? Annoying? Ignorance? Annoying. Annoying. But I'm talking about ignorance. What type of ignorance are we talking about here? Ignorance and ignoring is not No, like. Ignorant? Yes. Ignor like ignorance is. Yes? Pardon? No. Ignorance has nothing to do with ignoring. Forget that word. That word, I've, I've never talked about that word. Yes. Yeah, so ignorance is uh, not knowing. And when we say ignorance is bad thing, it's not knowing the scriptures. And uh, so those, those what, one, two, three, four, five? Am I counting right? No, six. Those six are going to get you to hell for sure. Continuing on, right? We're learning on what else is more demonic. So when I ask you next week what I taught you this week, please remember a couple of things. And I know there's an overlap from what Darshan said. Just because he was talking about the Bhagavadam and I'm talking about Gita. And there's a lot of similarities. So, those, actually, who, who wants to read it for me? Can you read that for me, please? What it says in the translation. Those who are demonic do not know what is to be done and what is not to be done. Neither than to be done. Neither than to be done. Exactly. So, those who are demonic do not know what is to be done. What what should we do basically? What should be done? Are you guys demonic? Do you know what, what should be done? When you get up in the morning, what should be done? Yes, please. Because that's just that's not even demonic, that's just human nature. We're not even talking about demonic nature right now. So yes, brush your teeth, what else? Yes, okay, apart from the human stuff, from the religious standpoint, what should you all be doing? Yes? Pray to God. How do we pray to God? Say, God, please give me money. Make me pass my test. Make me a millionaire. Right? Give me the, the best life I can possibly get. Is that what you say to God? No. So what do we say to God? Yes. We can't, they can't hear. I can barely hear you. They can't hear you. Exactly. Thank God. And now, what prayers are we saying here? Guys, who knows what a prayer is? We, I shouldn't be asking this question. What prayers are we saying in the morning? Yes? 